that is it, but not really, not yet. We got one more thing to talk about. One more thing to talk about. One more thing. I was hanging out with my friend and we had this, I've had this topic for a while. This topic right here. You see this topic right there? This topic right here? WNBA versus boy high school basketball. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to start off like this. Do I dislike women and, and all stuff like that? No. No, I don't. You saw my eye blink kind of like, no, I don't. I know. I really do like women. I really appreciate them. I love them. They, they my peoples. They're amazing. But for some strange reason, I talk with some of my friends, and you know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are. And I, I tell you, I cannot believe them. We had this discussion about, we have a lot of times, you know, as us men, we have these discussions about sports and basketball, whatever the case may be, you know, the LeBron James and Steph, LeBron James, Michael Jordan and all stuff like that, which we'll probably be touched on again later. But I have some of my friends that would tell me that WNBA players could beat an elite boys basketball team if they were to play. The WNBA championship players will beat boys, uh, boys high school elite basketball team. Please give me your thoughts on this. I would love your thoughts. I would love, I will, I would love to hear what your thoughts are about this. Please put some comments in there. Please, I would love to hear your feet. I really want to hear. I want to know how many people are jacked up in their minds to actually believe that this will work. That, that that the WNBA will beat these guys. Please give me your response and explain to me why. Put it into the comments. Like and subscribe to my channel because I want to know what you think. Because for me personally, I know there's people out here that think like me. And I think it's more that think like me than they are. <laughs> I just believe I need to get a I need to get a consensus. I need to know who truly and really believe that the WNBA players can beat an elite high school basketball team. I mean, the top of the top. Basically, they're playing like college level. This is the, and this is interesting. And let me show you how this is so funny. So I talked with my friends, you know, and it was like, man, I believe that you know, girls, the WNBA will most definitely beat um, the high school kids. Okay, cool. Then, but then they said, not college. The college kids will beat them. And then they say the NBA will beat them, you know? And this 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 one of my friends, you know what I'm talking about because we just had this discussion yesterday. <laughs> so I got go. you see me in my seat, I'm getting all excited. So I asked him, I said, so if the WNBA were to play against the NBA players, how what do you think the point spread would be? Who you, how far how how many points do you think that the NBA players would beat the WNBA NBA players by? Say he said he said what? I think it was like eighty points, uh, eighty points or something like that. Eighty points, I think. I'm extract for me personally. I feel like it's gonna be like a hundred some points, if I'm being honest. So and I said, okay, well that's fine. That's your number. And I said, so now go down to uh, college. What do you think that number will be? He said, well, maybe the college dudes will beat them by like 40 points or something like that. Okay, that's cool as well. That's cool. I can, I can understand why you can think that. That makes a whole lot of sense to me. To a degree. But then I said, so what about high school boys? And he said, nah. He said, I think, I said, if they, what will happen is, he says that they will win, that the WNBA players will win. They will win but by like a small margin, possibly. Hmm. So I said, so I asked him a question. I said, so, so you're telling me that if you get a, a high, an elite basketball team, boys basketball team, and you know they had like what the, the uh, what is it called? Um, All American basketball team where you got these dudes who all, they come and play together. 
um, in the summer league and the my McDonald's league and all that stuff like that. And you're saying that you, if you get the top elite basketball players that are already considered to be like NBA draft picks and going to be picked to college, college that they will lose, that these guys will lose to the WNBA. But you believe that college basketball players will beat the WNBA. Interesting. It blows my mind. <laughs> it blows my mind. So then I asked another question. I said, so do you think that women, professional women in uh, golf could beat men in golf? He said, no. Okay. He said, no. I said, well, what about football? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they will run them over. <laughs> they will run them over. I said, soccer. Oh. He said, maybe. But he said, no, I doubt it. Because they're running all across the field. You know what I'm saying? So he said, you know, the speed. My, my chair is sinking. He's saying that the speed and all stuff like that. Yeah, the guys will beat them. I said, okay. And then hockey? No. Boxing? No. Nah. So it blows. So now listen, every other sport, <laughs> every sport, every sport that has been invented by, by man has been played by men for generations, for centuries. Only basketball is the one to where that the woman might beat them. Might? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. It was like, so, so you're telling me that every other sport the men will be, but not in basketball. Hmm. That blows my mind. Guys, please tell me. I need to know, like, what do you think about this? Do you really believe that the WNBA players can beat elite basketball boys, uh, can beat an elite basketball boys team in high school? I would love to get your thoughts on this. I'm please look. I'm not begging for you to follow me, but you can follow me. But the reason why I want you to follow me is because I want you to be able to tell me about this argument. Let me please. I would love to get your thoughts on this. Please, I am dying to get your thoughts on this. I would love to see what what do y'all think. Please tell me what you think. I don't I don't get it. So now the question is, is would you consider the boys basketball team in high school an asset or a liability? Or would you consider uh, the WNBA team an asset or a liability? Good question. Based off of that, so I want you to think about that. Do you believe that boys basketball, elite basketball team, would be an asset or a liability? Or would the WNBA be considered an asset or a liability? What are your thoughts about that? Can you see the connection between assets and liabilities as well as what I'm trying to connect here with when it comes down to women's, uh, the WNBA, as well as uh, high school boys? Which one would be considered an asset and liability? What do you think? I'm curious. What are your thoughts? <laughs> what you What you mean you don't know about that? Oh, you got game. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, I don't think I've ever seen my sister play basketball before. Never seen. I don't think I've seen my sister play basketball before. I don't even think I've seen my niece play basketball before. None of my nieces. I ain't never seen none of them play basketball before. I see boys play basketball a whole lot. I know, I know my nephew, he plays, he dribbles the ball around a little bit. <laughs> I, bet. I mean, uh, you know, I almost say nothing about my sister, but I know she played basketball and she dribbles. She don't want to break a nail, you know? <laughs> That ball is hard. Ooh. How do you dream of this thing? <laughs> yes, that is true. So that's what I want to know. I, I truly want to know 
realistically like and again this is this has nothing to do with liking one over the other male or female it's really not it's just basically like it's a physical sport no matter how you put it down it's a physical sport it's almost like telling telling the high school team to play against the nba high school boys team to play against the nba it's the same thing to me it's like it's not it's not it can't work that way it can't work that way but you can't put a, the woman in the same category as men. It, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't, it, it don't work. And some people say, well, because of this modern day basketball, the style of play to where that nobody's not really playing defense today. They said that, uh, that women can play in the NBA. <laughs> and I was choking. Yeah. <clears throat> I was choking on something. I can't believe these. I like, where is this coming from? Like, where, where, who would even have, why is it that my friends can believe in almost every other genre of sport that the man will win, that the men will win, but only in basketball they will lose? And then we say high school kids. This is high school kids all across the board. And what I heard recently is that the, the soccer team, the female soccer team, that the U.S. soccer team played against in a scrimmage against a high school team with boys, uh, boys soccer team, and they ran them over. Again, disciplined, trained, and they got beat. They got their tail beat by high school kids. The U.S. championship team, soccer, by high school kids. They were disciplined, got more experience, but lost. So I'm telling you, just I'm, I really want to hear your thoughts on this. I really want to know. I really would like to get a consensus and really just put out there how many people really believe that this, this is possible? How many people believe it's possible? It's almost like saying this. It's almost like saying this, saying that men are more compassionate than women. Women are very compassionate, very caring and loving. Men don't have the capability as a whole to be as compassionate as a woman is. We can compete, we can compete on it as much as we want. Women gonna trump it. Period. There's certain things that just is just not gonna work. It just it just can't work. <laughs> it just will not work. I can't believe. So look, again, well, let me give you my argument real fast about why I think that the boys team will be an asset. The boys team will be an asset because of this. First off, they're young, strong, powerful. What happens is they go to college, they get degrees, and they go on to the NBA. The NBA profits a whole lot more. The NBA brings in tons and tons of money, right? We know that. The NBA brings in tons and tons of money. On the flip note, the WNBA. The WNBA is high school, college, and WNBA. They don't bring in nothing, really. And on fact, word on the street is that the NBA is taking that money and giving it all that money to the, to the WNBA with no returns. I think it's a liability. <laughs> I ain't discriminating. I ain't discriminate. There's a difference from discriminating and just really just seeing things for what they are. I have the look, this is the way I can tell you that I'm not discriminating. I have friends that actually look at that look at uh LeBron James and Michael Jordan and compare them. They can see people will tell you that Michael LeBron James is the best player in the world, and they and they will tell you that he's not he's not a score, he's a pass first player. But he's the leading scorer in the league. Again, his longevity caused it to happen, but he's the leading scorer in the league. I mean, in, in the NBA. Can he really be a pass first player 
if he scored more points. Like, I'm just very logical. Like, I feel like I'm more logical and more realistic than some of my friends, you know. And some of my boy, Janai, he get off, gets on my nerve. Of course, it makes sense. Yeah, a woman, exactly. Women don't get paid the same because it's not an asset. <laughs> it's not, they're not an asset. It's a liability. Like, not enough people watch and draw attention to that sport. If people draw attention to the sport, it might it might possibly become an asset. Or if they kind of, like, merge the two sports together. Oh, that's a great question. What do you think about they merge the two sports, male and female basketball, and they play in the NBA all together? Do you think that would be fun? Because the thing is, you can't, you can't say, no, no, that ain't going to work. But you also said that the WNBA players are good. You know, so don't don't contradict yourself now, because for me personally, I don't think it will work. <laughs> I feel like a whole lot of people would be getting ran over. There'd be injuries. It would be painful. But overall, man, like I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to end it here. Hopefully we get some likes and follows on this. Please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And, and let's enjoy the discussion. I got different topics I'm going to talk about. Again, there's going to be some technical issues along the way until I truly get good and and work this system and i'm using this new program it looks a little bit more better i like the you know i get little hitters the banners and stuff like that to kind of get me in the crew but overall guys like i appreciate your support i'm looking forward to you to keep on supporting me i'm here to support you contact me if you need to you can reach out to me anytime that you want to you know just remember that uh if you if you just if you need anything hit me up contact me here this is my ig right there golfmind golf.mind underscore detailing if you need your detail car detail because the season's about to break so right now is about that time of the season to where that you know it's um it's getting warmer i was going to clean my car today but i didn't um because i've been kind of i did again the weather has been bad so i'm about to get out there in the next couple of days to just clean my car up again and you know trying to get you know get these bones moving again and ultimately get my get the details going on and i'm thinking about and you know i'm, I'm gonna throw a poll out there but i'm trying to think about i want to get me the apple vision pro as an asset for my company to where that it will probably bring me back more in the sense of being able to record my videos and to kind of be give people the, uh give them the view of the detailer as I clean and detail the car and record it. I'm trying to see if it's, if, if it's a valuable asset to purchase or if it's going to be a liability. So give me your thoughts on that. Who would like to see me with some Air, Air uh, Apple Vision Pros on while I'm detailing the car and seeing how everything works that way? Let me know in the, uh, in the chats, in the comments. And then, you know, I'll check up with you guys the next time we, we meet again. Again, next week is going to be another topic about me discussing what I've learned about uh, finances and going to just gradually go through the whole process. Because, again, as I talk it, it helps. I teach to learn and I learn to teach. Ultimately, that's the goal. I teach to learn and I learn to teach. So I'm going to whatever I can get. I'm going to teach it. But even when I'm teaching, I'm, is, I'm retaining the information in order for it to help me to learn. And I teach to learn. So I teach to learn and I learn to teach. So. I just want to become better at what I can do. Okay. So, and I want you guys to be better. So just always think about ways that you can become better. If you have any thoughts and ideas on how you can improve on yourself and how you can really develop yourself and, and you want to take the proper steps when it comes down to finances, or if you want to go into a business direction and to be able to develop yourself to where you can have a lot of um, some income coming towards you, but learn how to budget your money. You know, we can do this together. We can chat, we can talk about it and we can go a little bit further like that. But on this note, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Holla at your boy.